I absolutely love podcasts. I listen to them all the time. And actually dating all the way back to 2010, I wanted to start my own. It just took me 10 years to actually pull the trigger and do it. That's right. In 2020, I started my own podcast like so many other people did when the pandemic hit that the opportunity just presented itself. And I haven't stopped since. I've been hosting my podcast for the last two years. It's evolved. I love it. It's a great show. You should definitely check it out. Link down in the description. But in this video, I'm going to share with you why I use Ecamm Live to produce my podcast. A couple things right off the bat before we dive into the list of all the reasons I like using Ecamm Live. It is a Mac only program. So if you're not on a Mac, you can't use Ecamm Live right now. Unfortunately, there's other options, though they're just not as good as Ecamm. You got to have a Mac to use Ecamm Live. And then the second thing, I think a lot of people don't use Ecamm Live because that live function of Ecamm Live throws them off. You actually don't need to go live and live stream with Ecamm Live. You can actually just record locally to your computer and not go live. I That's how I use it. I actually never, oh, I shouldn't say never. I do go live sometimes, but for the podcast, I don't. I actually just use it to record the audio and video versions of the podcast. All right, let's dive into all the reasons I love using Ecamm to create my podcast. And the very first is their audio quality. Audio is the most important thing when it comes to making a podcast, especially if you're an audio only podcast. But even if you have a video version, audio is extremely important. And Ecamm is an actual program that lives on your computer. They're not sending your audio out over the internet to be processed and then sent back like so many other options. Like a lot of people default to Zoom right off the bat when they're going to record their podcast, especially with a guest. And the disadvantage of that is Zoom just processes your your audio over the internet and sends it back to you, and it sounds it sounds absolutely horrible. I'm going to show you an example here in a minute. So the thing you need to know is Ecamm actually doesn't send out your audio to be processed. It uses the hardware, your computer, to process the audio. It doesn't leave the computer. Uh, the final recording doesn't leave your computer. It, it lives there. So you're going to get the best possible audio with with Ecamm. But the thing that really sold me is not only is it recording a stereo track, meaning all, all the audio. I mean, if it's just you, then it's just you. But if you have guests, it combines all that into one stereo track, but you also have the option to record isolated audio tracks. This is huge. This is basically recording in multi-track. You have your audio and you have your guest audio separately. And why is that important? Because everybody sounds different. You need to adjust the volume differently. Some people talk low. Some people talk very loud. You can adjust that. If you add more processing to your audio, the audio version of your podcast, like I do, I use Logic. I drop in those, those isolated audio tracks and I tailor the EQ and the compression to each person's voice because, hey, Everybody sounds differently. We all have different fre frequencies in our voice that sound horrible, and you can take those out. If you apply corrections just to a stereo track, that applies it to everybody. And not everybody needs the same audio corrections in post. So isolated tracks was super important to me. That's why I love using Ecamm. And again, it doesn't send out the audio over the internet to be processed. It just lives on your computer. Here, let me show you an example. So everything you're hearing right now is being recorded in Ecamm. L let me show you a Zoom recording. All right, now I'm in Zoom. This is every, everything is the same. The audio that's going into Zoom was what was going into Ecamm. The video is somewhat the same that was going into Ecamm. I'll explain that here in just a minute when I get to point number two. But yeah, this is if you were to use Zoom or, you know, having your audio processed remotely. It just, it doesn't sound as good, right? And it doesn't look as good. That that didn't sound that good. It doesn't sound as good as this, right? And if you noticed, it didn't look that good either. And that brings me to point number two, which is the video quality of Ecamm if you're going to have a video version of your podcast. And again, this just leverages the power of Ecamm being a app that lives on your computer. Everything is processed using the hardware of your computer and not processed over the internet. When you send out the video quality to Zoom, it just gets all just mushed up and spit out and just doesn't look as good as, as this. And Ecamm actually allows you to really just fine tune your image quality. Here, let, let me show you. So here we are in demo mode in Ecamm, and this will allow me to show you the camera effects section in Ecamm. So I'm actually shooting in log 
right now on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. It's feeding directly into my computer into Ecamm, and Ecamm allows you to apply a LUT, which is super awesome. So right here, I have a LUT with a plus contrast. I think that's plus contrast uh, of one. That's the LUT I'm using. Here, I'll, sh I'll shut it off, take it down to zero. This is how the image would, would look. But because I can apply a creative LUT or a conversion LUT just to get the best quality out of my camera, that's fantastic. You can't do that in any other uh, program like Zoom or Squadcast or Riverside FM. You can't do that. That means I would have to use a picture profile in the camera and I can't just fine tune it. And if we look back over here, I can adjust gamma, saturation, tint, temperature, brightness. Like you just can't do that with other applications. So uh, Ecamm Live allows you to really fine tune the image if you have a video version of your podcast. Now that's just one highlight of the video quality of Ecamm, but the other is Ecamm records or streams if you want to stream, but I use it just for recording in 4K. That's right. I can have a 4K feed going in and have it recorded in 4K. You can't do that with any other application that I know of. Most of them limit out at 1080p. And if you noticed on that horrible Zoom recording, um, yeah, it doesn't, I don't even think Zoom does 720. So if you're going to have a video version of your podcast and you want the best possible quality, Ecamm, <laughs> Ecamm is a no brainer. And there is even more. We're going to stick to video right now um, because you don't have to go live and you can just record locally on your computer. There is no limit to how much you can use and record with Ecamm. With other applications, you're limited to using them for 12, 15 hours a month because it's being processed on their servers. Not with Ecamm, it's being processed on your computer. So you can record as much as you want, though you are limited when it comes to interviewing. When you bring people on for interviewing, uh, you do have a limited amount of hours, but it's still way more than anybody else offers you. So if you get the year subscription of the pro plan, you off the bat get 250 hours of being able to have a guest on and record with them. If you do the monthly, it's 20 hours a month, which is still far more than what anybody else records. All right. One, one more thing when it comes to video, and this kind of is both video and audio, you can actually make sure that you're in sync. You know, Video is a larger format and gets to, let's say, Zoom or, or whatever uh, application you're using uh, a lot slower than audio. Audio isn't as heavy, so the audio gets there quicker. So sometimes you can be out of sync and you have to deal with that in post, or maybe you just don't deal with it and it kind of just looks weird. But in Ecamm, you can actually set a frame delay here. Let me show you. So if I go to, is it microphone? Nope. Let me go to preferences here we go so i go to preferences i go to audio and as you can see here i can have a mic delay for me it's four frames of delay four four frames seems to do the trick and keep me in sync so another fantastic quality of ecamm is being able to make sure your video and audio is actually in sync and you don't have to do anything in post and that brings me to point number three is that you can do so much in Ecamm to really ease the burden of editing in post. So maybe you want to have kind of like graphics around your image. Um, you would have to do that in post with any other program. But in Ecamm, you can actually have overlays. You can actually have titles, the name of your guest flying if you wanted to. It's super easy to do. There's tons of tutorials on that. But check this out. If I wanted an overlay on what you're seeing right now, um, yeah, this is an overlay I used to use. It's branded. It's super awesome for your podcast or your show, however, whatever it is that you're recording. We're talking about podcasts right now, so let's just assume it's for podcasting. But this is great. You don't have to do this in post. You can bake it right into the recording and not have to worry about it. Another thing I like doing um, is being able to add just branding. I don't use the overlays anymore. I, I like to keep it a little more clean, but I still like to have the logo of the show on there. So um, I have a PNG just overlay and it just lives right there in the corner of the entire show. And you don't have to do it in post. Other programs, you'd have to take the video file, drop it into an editor and drop all this over your footage in post. And <laughs> it is more work. When you record an Ecamm, you can have it all there baked in and, and you're done. 
when you hit end recording, you're, everything's done. It's, it's good to go. So the branding kind of brings me to point number four is the branding that you can have on your show when guests tie in. It's fantastic. Here, let me turn this off. Okay. So let's go back to live demo mode. So if I go to Ecamm, uh, go to preferences and go to interview and go to customize interview settings. Check this out. So when a guest actually logs in uh, to the show, you got my own custom link that they can they can click on and actually get connected. All this branding for my show shows up on their end on the web page. So it just, you know, it's just, it's awesome. It gives your show a little bit more of a professional look and just looks super, super good. I think it's, it's fantastic. It's just icing on the cake to make your show look more professional and not that you're just some dude in a room in his house recording a podcast like this. <laughs> Let's talk about the fifth reason now why I love using Ecamm. This is the last point I'm going to touch on, and that's the fact that Ecamm is just committed to being the best application for its users. They constantly update the application, users request new features, and they do their best to implement that. Ecamm has come a long way, and that's because of users giving Ecamm feedback of features they would like to see. It's absolutely fantastic, and the community that's around Ecamm is it's just, there's nothing like it. They have a great Facebook group. People are always posting questions, answering people's questions. Everyone's there to support you. There's a ton of creators on YouTube that make tutorials on how to leverage Ecamm to the best possible ability. So they just are committed to being the absolute best application uh, for their users. And Ecamm just the possibilities are endless here. Look, at I'm using it to make a podcast. It's meant for live streaming, but you can use it to create a fantastic podcast. And maybe right now you're like, hey, I don't need a video version of the podcast, but you still want good audio, right? And Ecamm allows you to bring on guests remotely, which is just awesome. You can have guests from anywhere in the world and the audio is going to sound really good. You're going to get those isolated audio tracks so you can make the proper corrections to your guest's audio and yours separately. It, there's just nothing else like it because it, it's not a cloud-based system. It's it's fantastic. And as your show grows and you want to incorporate video down the road or just you want to change your branding, it just it's just so easy to do anything with Ecamm. I would recommend it to anybody. I wouldn't even consider anything else. But you're probably wondering about pricing, right? Because there's a couple options out there to get good audio, especially if you're bringing in guests and video if you want to include video. So let's compare apples to somewhat apples. <laughs> They're somewhat the same. So I'm going to look at my notes real quick. Uh, Squadcast, if you went with a comparable plan, is $1,100 a year. It is the most expensive and does not give you as many hours as Ecamm does for having guests on. And it doesn't like the processing. It's just not as good as Ecamm to be quite honest. And it's super expensive. It's a hundred dollars a year. I mean, a hundred dollars a month or $1,100. You save a hundred dollars if you pay for the year. Okay. Um, Riverside FM is a little bit cheaper than Ecamm. It's $280 a year uh, or $29 a month. You don't get as many hours. And again, it's being processed remotely. And it just, again, doesn't sound as good, but that, that, that is an option. It doesn't have as many features as Ecamm. Ecamm is only $100 more. Ecamm for the year is $384 for the pro plan, and you're going to get everything, everything, or $40 a month, and then you're going to only get 20 hours a month for having a guest on, but that's still more than anybody. Um, so yeah, the pricing, not bad. It's right in the middle in that sweet spot and gives you the most features and the best quality. So those are all the reasons I love using Ecamm. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about Ecamm, drop them down in the comment section. If there's a specific thing you want to know, I'll make a tutorial on it. Let me know. Um, and if you want to check out Ecamm, there is a link down in the, the description. So you, you should check it out. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. Ooh.